Hello and welcome to Christy's Cropping and Creating. I am Christy Bolin and I am a, um, an independent Creative Memories Advisor. And I have on my desk right now some things to show you from the Border Buffet. If you order six different um, laser cut border packages or border stickers, you can earn this silicone mat. It is 13 inches by five inches for free. And let me show you, it comes rolled up like this and it has a neat little built-in clasp. If I can, uh, I didn't roll it quite tight enough to get my clasp easily. So it just folds up right out of your way. This thing is fabulous for putting our repositionable tape runner adhesive on our laser cut borders, which are like this. You know, they've got some holes in them. You see the holes right here in these lifesavers. And then the sun shines. The sunshines have multiple holes in them. Um, and so it is just absolutely fantastic to be able to put your adhesive on, on this silicone mat. I have one that I've used. You can see it a little bit over here. It's a little bit more of an aqua blue, whereas this smaller one is more of a, um, I guess, a sapphire or a royal blue, some, some of the same colors that are in some of our tools. And it's just the perfect size. Both of them roll up, but um, this one was available in an earlier, the big one was available earlier in a, um, a buy something, get something for free promotion. I think that was in January and it was so popular. And so now they've got this one that you can use. And the great thing about this size is that like, that's pretty much all I'm using of it in size wise anyway. It still has some great measurements on it, some other features. I'm not just going to um, continue to ramble about it, but these stickers are the Totally Tonal Summer sticker pack. And because it is a border sticker pack, it helps you earn this for free. I'm going to use this Sunrays for Days laser cut border pack and this Totally Tonal Summer pack in making a couple of borders for you really quickly. I'm kind of running late doing this today because I was waiting on this mat to get here. I thought it was going to be here earlier today. And then also, well, I just had some things going on. So it is summertime and I'm trying to enjoy my summer, but um, I wanted to be sure to get this out to you. And so I'm going to do a few borders with these things and before I go on to show you the borders that we're going to create I just wanted to quickly point out there is still seasonal sightings laser cut borders um, I think joy to the world was still available welcome home seas please this is a new collection and the last I checked earlier today it was still available serene waters I mean, there's some really great borders in Serene Waters. I love the sea turtles. Um, Serenity. Serenity is such a beautiful package. Um, really, so many of these can be used outside the box. Like, you don't have to be doing a beach vacation to use Serene Waters. Because look at some of the, some of the different variations of things that are here. Um, Let's see, our moments, I think that's the one. No, that was Welcome Home. Welcome Home, it's, you know, it's not just about moving into a new house or whatever. It's just such, such versatile borders and things. Oh, here's our moments. So it's some really pretty decorative elements and Happy Hauntings was still available. If you're into the Halloween vibe, the spookiness that is coming up. Y'all, can you believe it is already August? And then there are several totally tonal border stickers in different themes. This one is winter. I've already told you that tonight I'm gonna to be using the summer. And 
Um, in what I'm doing this evening, I can't show you a pre-made sample because I only had one package of these. So there wasn't a way for me to make one and then make the complimenting border. So you're literally gonna watch me make it from scratch. But I also wanted to point out, I'm gonna be using the Sunrays for Days paper pack, which was also still available earlier today when I checked. And I'll show you some of the papers fairly quickly that come in that paper pack. It is a nice, summary paper pack. You've got this picnic table pattern. On the back, it is just some primary colored stripes. Let's see if I can get the camera and I know there's a shadow, but you see how it's just stripes. This is the only piece of paper I have left from, from this particular uh, sheet of paper. So that's why I'm having to only show you a section of it. But obviously you could use those stripes going up and down or sideways. And this was all I had left. There's also this really cute flip flop paper on the back of it. It's sort of, well, it makes you think of a watermelon. The, the color isn't like a bright pink from watermelon, but that's what it makes you think of because the little dots look like seeds. And then there's this cloud and sunshine paper that has an orange hue to it. And it's, of course, also has whites and yellows. The back of it is a nice um, watery wavy pattern that could be used horizontally. And I think it can also be used vertically. I know my shadow is creating, it's making it a little bit hard to see some of the pattern, but um, I think that when I use it this evening, it will be used vertically, at least for one of the borders. Then there's this really cute grass and flower paper on one side, even um, lightning bugs, or that could be a dandelion. So I think it could be considered either. The back of it is a really pretty yellow. And this particular yellow, let's see if I can get it to focus, it has um, just a, a triangular grid that could be um, very versatile. Then there is a cloud and sunshine paper. It's a really pretty blue. My computer screen is showing it darker than it actually is in person. And of course, I know that's a calibration issue, but on the back, it has tons of words that make you think summer. Summertime, warmth, swim, relaxing, sunshine, fresh, green, grass, backyard, fun in the sun. I see all kinds of words and the words go both directions. So it wouldn't matter if you have it this way or if you have it this way, there are gonna be words that are still the right side up. It's really nice. And then this awesome lemon, which would be wonderful with our National Scrapbook Day 2023 collection because we had so many of the, the lemons and the citrus slice border maker cartridge and everything. The back of it also makes me think of fireflies and stargazing. So this is a really great paper pack. And I pulled out several of these totally tonal papers that we have had this year because look how well these papers go with this collection. So we had totally tonal red, totally tonal baby blue, totally tonal, um, I think this was, the collection was called Canary and then that paper is called Canary, Tangerine and Kelly Green and it just perfectly complements this collection, which again, we're gonna be using some of these in the borders that we create this evening. So you're gonna need your 12 inch trimmer and we are gonna use a decorative blade. And what we're gonna do, um, the first border I'm going to create is with the cute little flip flops. I cannot, not create a border with the flip-flops. So hopefully this is gonna work out okay and 
um, the speed at which I'm going to do this and I hope that I won't say uh, won't stumble over my words a million times and then try to figure out where I'm at in creating this but um, this Sunrays for Days laser cut border pack is just awesome and don't forget you need to purchase this by noon central time on Friday, August 4th in order to get the 13 by five silicone mat for free with six border, laser cut border or border sticker purchases in your cart at the same time. So we're gonna do this one first. And I've already told you that we're going to use a decorative blade. I'm going to use the wave blade. Um, you could use multiple variations of blades with this, but I just thought it would be fun because it's a summery layout and, you know, the waves make me think of water or whatever. You could use scallop, you could use deco or Victorian. It really doesn't matter. It's just completely up to you but I'm going to cut my base from the flip-flop paper. So I'm gonna have, you know, of course I wouldn't do flip-flops on top of flip-flops because then they all just blend together. But my, my initial base is gonna be from the flip-flop paper. And I'm gonna, you know, I could cut this with a decorative blade to start with, but actually I'm gonna make my next cut on my solid color papers with a decorative blade. So this one I'm going to cut either at two and three quarter inches or three inches. It just depends on how much of a of a mat that you want. Um, let's see, I'll go ahead and do this one at three inches. And you can always go a little bit smaller. I do like thinner borders, you know, like maybe around two, two and a half, or even two and three quarter inches. But um, for this, for this project, I'll go ahead and make my initial border at three inches. And then I'm going to cut my paper, I'm going to use some red paper from Totally Tonal Red. And this is where I want my decorative edge for sure. And it might not matter with this particular flip-flop border, but it is just fun sometimes to go ahead and have an extra little punch with it when you are layering your papers. So I'm making just a really thin cut. So this I could save for another project, but I'm just gonna throw it away for now. <laughs> but I will have my, my cut edge let me hold it up so you can see. Oh, let's get it to focus. There we go. So I will have that cut edge on both sides of my, my paper once I am ready to start adhering this all together. This piece I'm going to cut at one and a half inches um, so that both sides will have the wavy edge. So let's see if I can get that to focus. Now both sides are wavy edge and I'm gonna put this on here somehow. I'm not 100% sure how yet. My flip-flops are gonna layer on top of that as well. And I did cut that thick enough that I want something else, just some more pop to it, right? So I'm gonna cut some of this baby blue and I'm gonna make my edge wavy again. So let me cut off just a tiny little bit. And again, that is a piece that you can use on a different project or just throw it away, either way. And let's see, I'm gonna make this cut at Let's see how big do I want to make it. I could make it at, I think I could make it at one inch and it would still be, it still wouldn't cover up anything. Let's see. And if this doesn't work, then I'll, I'll do it um, a little bit smaller. 
let's see what happens if I do this at one inch. I think, I think this is gonna work for what I had in mind because I'm also going to use this red dot strip from the sticker strip. That's gonna go on the blue paper. And then the, the red flip-flops are gonna go on the red paper. And then I've got the base as the flip-flop paper anyway. So I think I'm just gonna go with that. I could have cut this probably a little bit thinner and it would show more of the flip-flop backgrounds, but for time's sake on this particular video, since I'm already late, I'm just gonna go with this and then we will work on another one in a minute. So I will put my papers down with re repositionable adhesive, but I am going to mount my flip-flops with foam squares. At least I hope I have them close by. So I'll put both of my papers down. Then I will put my sticker on the blue. I'm gonna put my flip-flops on the red with foam squares. And before I get out the foam squares, I'm gonna go ahead and center this little border sticker on this baby blue cardstock strip that I cut with my 12 inch trimmer and the wavy blade. That blue definitely could have been thinner, but hey, it is what it is, right? When, and it, it, um, it works for now. So we'll just go with that. And let me get my flip-flops foam squared fairly, oh, fairly quickly. Y'all look, I forgot to tell you. See, most of these borders have two sides. So this side has multiple colors, blues, reds, navies, kind of a, um, a brownish khaki color. The back has yellows, navies, greens, um, white, so, so just choose which side you want to show. I do not have the new foam square size out to show you right now. I meant to grab that when my order came earlier. Totally forgot. So I'm just popping mine with the now old size foam squares, the smaller ones. You know how it, they've always come in multiple sizes in a package but we now have them in um, a different size variety pack. I think they now come in three or four sizes for the package instead of just the two sizes. And either way, it works. Um, you can pop your images to give them, to give it some dimension really easily, no matter if you're using the old foam squares package or the newer foam squares package. So look how quick, that was super simple, super easy, super fast. And again, it gives you some versatility in how you can make the sizes of the different cardstock borders. The back is that, um, that paper that looks like watermelon. But now I have one border from the Sunrise for Days and the Totally Tonal Summer sticker pack. So I also want to make one with the sunshine for laser cut border. This side, if I can get it to focus, it has some blues, yellows, oranges, a little bit of white. The other side has a darker, almost red sunshine and it's still yellow, but it's more of a yellow orange. So the, the yellow is brighter on this side and the, the connector strip on this side is blue and the connector piece on this side is more white. I do like that initial side best. So this is the side that I'm gonna use. And what I want to do is I'm gonna cut my base for this one 
I'm going to use this orange cloud paper. This is the one I'm referring to. And um, my decorative blade is in here already. I'm trying to think pretty fast. With how do I want to, like, how am I going to be layering this? I think I'll switch back to my straight blade for the for the actual base itself. And I'm definitely going to make this one at two and three quarters. That, that three inches, it ended up being a little wider than it had to be. And I know that the flip-flops are, are a little bit wider than the sunshine border is in the first place. So I'll go with that. And this one, I'm going to use some canary paper, which uh, canary cardstock is the yellow. I'll use a little bit of the blue to layer this since we have some blues in the border itself and that, that canary will help pop it. And let me check one thing. I had an idea earlier of how I might want to um, make this one a little bit different from the other one. And hmm, <laughs> I think what I would like to do with this one is put some blue at the very, very back. So I will make it at, I, I cut this one at two and three quarters. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this one at three inches. And it will have the decorative border on both sides. This isn't this isn't what I originally thought I was going to do, but hey, I think it's going to work too. So, so this blue base will go behind this, and it has the decorative edge. And then I'm also going to cut a piece of yellow and a, another piece of blue. I think <laughs> um, this piece of blue will be, let's see, my sunshines, I measured them earlier. They're right at one inch. So I think I will do this also at one inch, again with the decorative border. But I'm also gonna still cut some yellow some canary um, to be exact, to go on either side of this. I don't think it'll be too much. This canary, I'm, I'm going to cut with my decorative blade, so I do need to make my edge. I do need to cut just a small strip so that my edge will have that decorative border. But I'm going to cut this really thin and I'm going to cut it cut two different pieces so that it will be on either side of this. It, after I do it, I may end up saying, oh, no, that's too much. I'm going to make this between, let's see, do I want to do it at a quarter or do I want to do it at a half? I'm going to make these strips a quarter of an inch wide. If this is already looks too thin, then I'll change it. Oh no, that's gonna be good for what I'm thinking. Um, so I'm gonna make two of these at a quarter of an inch, which is going to the edge of your gray mat. That is right at one quarter of an inch, in case you didn't know that already. So it is again cut with the decorative edge and we will just kind of center it like that. Let me take a drink of my drink real quick. My mouth is getting kind of dry. I had Mexican food for supper. So that makes it to where um, my mouth is dry. <laughs> Let's see, I'm trying to read my notes. I don't know that one of my sticker strips is gonna work really well with this. I think I might just go with it layered as it is. 
and I will pop some of it with some foam squares again. But I don't know that I'm going to be able to use a sticker strip on this particular border and it not be just um, too much, too overwhelming in terms of the, you know, you don't want to drown out or make it too busy such that it really just covers up the, the sunshines themselves. I will put down my, my cardstock pieces first and these thin quarter of an inch cardstock canary pieces, I'm gonna put them over on my silicone mat. I'm gonna put them right next to each other like where they're nesting together and I will put my repositionable adhesive on it at the same time. And that allows me to not waste any where it's getting down on the mat. But if it were to get on the mat, it wouldn't matter because I could just rub it right off because that's the point of the silicone mat. So that is what is so fabulous about the silicone mat. And then you don't have to worry about cleaning your, your good, cutting, um, custom cutting system mat. So I'm going to pop these on here. I think it still shows enough of the really pretty designer paper that has the, the orange, yellow cloud sunshines. And again, I'm going to pop this strip with some foam squares. You can put your repositionable adhesive on here if you don't want the dimension. I know some people dimension is good. I know some people who live and die by foam squares. <laughs> I'm one of those people I use foam squares more on my cards and things like that than I do on my scrapbook pages but it is nice to have a little dimension when you want it or when you feel like you need it. This, uh, the very end of this sunshine, it feels like it's too small for even one of the tiny foam squares. So I just cut it in half on the diagonal and that's what I'm gonna put on either end of my little sunshine so that that doesn't come out from underneath it and show once it's on the border. Peeling off these backings for the foam squares seems to take more time than almost anything. <laughs> I've just got this last little half piece to get the backing off of. And I will put this in the center of the baby blue strip. There you go. So here's one and here's two. Let's see, I'm not exactly sure. This doesn't tell me how long I've been going. I really want to do one more. I want to do one that would go vertical because I feel like this life preserver and snorkeling, the, the foot thing that you put on when you're going snorkeling, I think this will go vertically as well as horizontally. So I want to do one more and hopefully I'm not taking way too much time. For this one, I want to use the wavy paper and I'm going to use it going vertically. I will make this paper, I'm going to make it straight and I'm gonna cut it at two and three quarters. Instead of going all the way to three inches, I'm gonna stop at two and three quarters. I'm sure that you can go a little bit wider if you would like, if that's what you would prefer to do. So somehow I've gotta make it pop on that water wavy paper. And let's see, I have, 
tangerine paper that would look good with it, believe it or not, because of the the colors and the the lifesavers themselves. And this is also two sided. Oh, and actually, this will look good either side. the The lifesavers on one side are two toned. And on the other side, they're solid color. They're just um, kind of a reddish and a yellowish color. And on this side, it's two shades of blue and then two or three shades of yellow and red, orange. I think I'm going to use the multicolor side. And we will go with, let's see what I can go with to make it maybe I will make oh I just can't I'm so bad about making decisions too fast I did try to write a few notes ahead of time but the bad thing is is I um once I get going I just can't make up my mind exactly how I want it to be in the end so I I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a couple of colors of cardstock. So that that initial piece, the the blue wave was two and three quarters. I know that this border is about one and a half inches wide. Actually, it's between one and a half and one and three quarters inches wide. So if I make my cardstock multiple layers. That was two and three quarters. So I'm going to make this at, I'm going to cut my blue at two inches. Oops, I meant to do it with my wavy blade. Bummer. <laughs> it's too late. Uh, I will have to fix that now. And one way I can fix it is to just this little piece that I just cut at two inches, just cut that little bitty sliver off like I did earlier with the, the initial piece. And so now it's not a full two inches wide, but it's almost, it's like just shy of two inches. So now I can decide, do I want to put this on the blue and then layer the tangerine under it before I put it on the, the wavy blue, or do I want it to do it the other way around? Do I want to put the border on the tangerine, then have the blue peeping out, and then the, the wavy blue? So I'm, I'm looking at my desk, and then I'm looking in the monitor to decide how I want to do it. So there's that way, and then here would be this way. Let's see, which do I like best? I wish I could hear y'all giving me suggestions for what you think, because one minute I think one way and the next minute I think the other. <laughs> I think I'm going to do the this way. No, I mean, I meant to say the other way. I'm going to have the, the border on the orange and then the blue peeping out before the wavy blue. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this. I actually think there would be advantages to both ways, but I'll go ahead and do this since I can't make up my mind fast enough and I can't read my notes fast enough, <laughs> that kind of thing. So this one, that one is two inches. This one needs to be at least one and three quarters and honestly I think I'm going to cut it at one and a half and you will see why in just one moment it's because I'm going to use a wavy border sticker as well at least I hope I am so if I cheat this a little bit like off-centered and then put my, well, let me see where this is going to go. 
And then I also want to use, from my border stickers, I wanna use one of these waves that will match the other wave. I may end up needing to, to cut instead of centering it like this, which that would, that would look good. That would look good because of the, you know, the dimensions and everything, but then I wouldn't be able to use my wavy sticker and I really want to use my wavy sticker. I may end up having to go back and cut one more piece of blue, the, the baby blue, for it to really come out the way that I want to come out. I think I'm gonna do the darker of these. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. So it wouldn't have mattered that I cut this with a straight side and you'll see why in just a moment. I'm going to put this piece down. I'm gonna make it go within about a quarter of an inch from the edge. You can still see the waves that are on the paper itself. And then my, my tangerine piece is actually gonna cover up the, the wavy edge, which is why I said it didn't matter that I accidentally cut it with a straight edge because now it's gonna end up being covered that I didn't keep it that way. And again, I'm gonna go so that there is about a quarter of an inch of that background paper showing. I'm gonna pop this with my foam squares. And then I'm going to put my wave sticker on my blue background paper so that I'm still using a couple of different items that would help me earn my silicone map for free. Again, it's you order six border laser cut border or border sticker packages. By the way, when you go to my website, you go to the deals tab and there's a category called promo. And that promo is going to show you the things that are available for you to order that will help you earn the mat. And when you are putting those items in your cart, when you go to checkout, there will be a pop-up window that shows you that you have, that the mat has added to your cart. If you don't see the 13 by five silicone mat in your cart, make sure you are signed into your account. And if it's not there, you may need to add something else until you see that it is physically there. Just make sure that you actually see it in your cart before you complete your order so that it does actually send to you. There's like, if you have six qualifying items, they're going to make it right. They're going to get it to you, but you don't want there to be any question. Like, you've got to see it in your, um, oh, what do you call that? Like, in your, order confirmation, like you've got to see it in your cart to know for sure that it is coming to you. And as long as you are signed into your account and you have six qualifying items in your cart, it shouldn't be a problem at all. But I just want to make sure that you know that you do need to see it there in order to know that you are receiving it. So now some people would maybe even want to put foam squares on the stickers. You can do that. I'm just choosing to not do it in this case. So here is my third border. Look how cute. I maybe didn't go completely straight on this one. I don't know, but, um, and I had said that I wanted to do it for a vertical one. I think that honestly, it could still work vertical or horizontal because my waves, obviously it's okay for them to go vertical or horizontal. So here are three borders that I created fairly quickly using the 
border stickers from Totally Tonal Summer. Let's see if I can leave all of this in the field of vision. I doubt I can without it looking too complicated. <laughs> and then the, um, what did I do with, here are the other borders, the cute little cornhole board, the summer, the umbrella, the sunshine, and the word summer made out of flip-flops, cute little sunglasses that are hearts. Some of them are hearts, and then the back is has some different colors. The grass, it's even a different shade of green grass on the backside. The ice cream and popsicles and their different color on the backside. And then also the sunshine and clouds. Again, different color on the other side. So here's what I used. I couldn't use these sunshine stickers or these swirlies or whatever else this other stuff is just because they didn't go with the three that I definitely wanted to use. But I think I made good use out of these things. And again, that was the sun rays for days, laser cut borders and sun rays for days paper pack. There is also a sun rays for days fast to fabulous paper pack unless it has sold out. And I did not check to see if it had sold out, but these were the papers. Please let me know if I can help you in any way. You can email me at christybolan at gmail.com. If you don't have an advisor that you are shopping with, I'm happy to help you. My website address is creativememories.com slash user slash christybolan. Christy is K-R-I-S-T-I. -I. Bolin is B-O-L-I-N. I am happy to help you in any way that I can. And I hope that y'all enjoyed this. I know that I was kind of flying by the seat of my pants, but that's just how it goes sometimes. I do, again, think that this border can be used vertically or horizontally. And then the flip-flops in the sunshine, I, I think they do need to go horizontal. But I had fun and I hope y'all enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. You can check out my videos at Christie's Cropping and Creating. Typically they post on Thursdays. This is still gonna post on a Thursday. It's just gonna post a little later than it normally does. And I look forward to seeing y'all next week. Y'all take care. <laughs>